Oh my gosh, ninjas, you won't believe this. Street Fighter 6 will be the first fighting game to have in-game commentary from real life shoutcasters. Ata, how's it my ninjas? My name is Max Ntite aka the 20 Gamer based in Pretoria, South Africa's capital city and you are listening to the first installment of 20 Gamer React which is a playlist consisting of my reactions to video games, movies, music or anything to do with contemporary pop culture. I'm debuting with the reaction video to Street Fighter 6's top 5 new features. What you are seeing on your screen right now is the actual official gameplay footage. Damn! Yo man, doesn't that shit look sick? And in case you didn't know, Capcom is the maker of the hugely successful and legendary Street Fighter franchise. Street Fighter first launched in August 1987. That's like a month after I was born. Damn, I'm old. Old man. And two weeks ago, Capcom has been slowly dripping snippets of Street Fighter's sixth installment, which will be releasing in the middle of 2023. Even though technically there's actually 40 Street Fighter games in total, but that's another video altogether. Anyways, in descending order, here are my top 5 new features on Street Fighter 6. Let's go! Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there! Number 5 is the game face feature. During the loading screen, you can make multiple facial expressions with the game face feature by pressing D-pad buttons. That's kinda cool. Besides game face, there'll also be character specific taunts during fights. On his Twitter account, Capcom released an example of Luke mocking Rue with the fake Hadouken. Check it out. Come on! Hadouken! 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 <laughs> Uh, what a cocky little shit. Number 4 is improved controls. New to Street Fighter 6 is the optional modern control type which allows for easier input to execute special moves or simple combos. Basically, they're lowering the barrier to entry for casual and new players by offering one button combos. Another new fighting mechanic is drive system which is the green gauge under the health bar which you can use to perform 5 different techniques that can enhance your offense or defense. Basically, it's something like the focus mechanic from Street Fighter 4 and V Trigger from Street Fighter 5 combined. Nice. Number 3 is the RE engine. Those of you who are familiar with other Capcom games like Resident Evil Village and Devil May Cry 5 will know the mind blowing realistic graphics generated by Capcom's RE engine. What I didn't like about Street Fighter 5 and previous editions is that they relied on anime style 2D graphics which looked too cartoonish for my liking. Personally, I couldn't see the difference between Street Fighter 4 on PS3 and Street Fighter 5 on PS4 respectively. But now, thanks to the RE engine, Street Fighter 6 has photorealistic characters fully rendered in glorious 3D. I mean, we finally have a Street Fighter that looks like it was made for current gen consoles. Nice. It's about bloody time Capcom. Number 2 World Tour Mode In the launch trailer, many people saw what looked like a single player story mode for the game and they weren't mistaken. This story mode is called World Tour Mode and it allows players to customize a character and let them explore Metro City like in an open world game while an over the shoulder camera follows them around as they interact with NPCs, break objects and climb buildings. And number one, my favorite feature on Street Fighter 6 is its brand spanking new real-time commentary feature. For the first time in Street Fighter history, players can choose to have a professional shoutcaster commentate on the fight as it is happening, just like in sports games like FIFA and NBA 2K. Confirmed voices include Jeremy Vicious Lopez who will be doing English commentary. Oh yeah, you know I'm ready! <laughs> yeah, boy. We're trying to read each other here? At this range, many attacks can connect if you stick something out. The neutral game is very important. Hit them with a stopping box! More fuel for the fire! Cook them up! Break it on them and lay down some damage without giving up ground! Drops them! Perfect parry! They got a feast on this chance! What now? Can it be this time to block this out? Perfect damage calculation! No doubt about it! They are done! No, it's 
a lot of damage. By the way, Vicious actually responded to me on Twitter a few minutes after I asked them about this feature. Dude, you are so cool, man. Thanks for responding. Oh my god! Wow! Anyways, yeah, and uh, the other shoutcaster is Aru, who will be shoutcasting in Japanese. Capcom should give like a triple pay raise to the geniuses who thought of that clever idea. I absolutely love it. And that, my ninjas, concludes my first gaming reaction video. There are other interesting topics to discuss about the game, such as the character leaks, but I prefer to wait until Capcom confirms them rather than speculate. But don't be shy if you want to discuss the lead character designs, especially the new characters, please get the conversation going in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you appreciate my work as one of the few gaming content creators in South Africa. Otherwise, until my next video, y'all know the slogan, it's never game over.